life is what you're making You see, but still you're blind Get yourself together Get before you pay You'll find out the hard way Soon you'll come away How are you doing, ladies and gentlemen? This is my regular Thursday blog. You know, there's so many ridiculous things happening all over the world that I don't even know where to start. I don't know where to start with Paris Hilton because everybody's preoccupied with whether she was got too drunk to go into jail and should they let her out. When they let her out, everybody was mad. What right did they let her out? Then they put her back in. Now everybody is mad. What right did they have to put her back in? First they were said that she's a person of privilege, so they let her out in a second. Now they say, look, just because she's a person of privilege, they're trying to make an example of her and get even with her, and now they're putting her in jail for nothing for all this time. Now not only is she in jail, but she's miserable in jail, so the whole whole world forgot about the whole war in Iraq. They forgot about the threat of Iran with a nuclear bomb. They're only thinking about one thing. What is Paris Hilton doing? You heard that she cried a little the day before she cried a little more. Then she said she wiped her tears. Then they said she didn't have a handkerchief. She would have wiped her tears. Then they said her mother came. Then she said her mother left. Then they said the mother left, but she came before she left. Then they said, no, she came back. No, she's still there. Everybody's going, where's the mother? Where's the handkerchief? Where is she crying? Is she crying? Did she stop crying? And meanwhile, People are getting killed all over the world. Fires are burning, arms are brewing, and the international trade, the whole world of international problems are getting bigger and bigger and greater and greater, and the war is becoming more and more futile and desperate, and the problem is becoming so overwhelming that we don't know what's going to happen to it, but everybody has no time to find out about it because it's not in the paper. There's no place in the paper for the war in Iraq. There's no room. The first page is Paris Hilton. The third page is also Paris Hilton. The fourth page is her mother. The fifth page is her father. And then the problem is, as soon as you finish with Paris Hilton, there's no room for the war because now it's Lindsay Lohan. Now Lindsay Lohan is in is in is in uh, some kind of a habitat. Nobody knows is it what kind of a place is it? It's, she's at a place for treatment. Where do you call that? What do you call that when they're in a place for treatment? Rehab. She's in rehab. Then they don't know if they should call it rehab because they don't want to insult her. So they said she went in for treatment because the her people, her publicity people said, it's not nice to call it rehab because then it looks like she was drunk or she's a little mixed up or she's a little disturbed. Why should anybody know that she's disturbed or mixed up? Let's pretend that it's not that she just went in for treatment. Maybe it's because plastic surgery. Maybe it's because she wanted to take a certain pill. Don't admit that she's really sick as if nobody knows it and nobody will think of it. The fact that she's caving in in different pictures every day. Sometimes she's on the floor, sometimes she's getting off the floor, sometimes she's still on the floor, sometimes you see her with a bottle, sometimes you see her with, <laughs> with a bandage, sometimes you see her stooped over in a car, sometimes it looks like they punched her in the mouth or they knocked her out, but don't tell anybody that she has a problem. All the pictures show a deranged person flying off the handle every 10 seconds, but you shouldn't remind them about it, they have a problem. Meanwhile, the only problem that you see in the paper is Lindsay Lohan and Paris Hilton. And nobody cares or knows about anything else that's going on anywhere in the world. What kind of a country are we living in? When the history of this period is written, people are going to say that the dumbest, most ignorant people in the world were the people in this country at this time of history. Nobody's going to believe that these are the same people that are doing fantastic research in cancer, fantastic development of new medicines, that we're fighting the problems of global warming, that they're giving charity and help, and the fundamental problems all over the world are being solved by the United States, where we are the most compassionate, concerned society for the underprivileged of the universe. Nobody would know it. They would think this was a selfish country of people who are idiots, who are not concerned and are not aware of anything that's going on anywhere in the world. Death and destruction of the human race means nothing. Why? Because two retarded little girls, I shouldn't call them retarded, let's say stupid, more than stupid, ignorant, pathetic, meaningless little girls who should be concerned about their parents and their parents should be concerned about them. It's not my business, it's not your business, and it shouldn't be anybody's business. Only a retarded society thinks that these events are important. These events mean nothing except to their family. Let's forget about them, let them take care of themselves. There's a lot of drunken little girls in the world. That's the problem of their parents, not mine and yours. Let's find out what's going on in Iraq and do something about the real problems of the world. That's the answer to the sickness of our time. Smiling faces, going places, and if they bust you, just keep on smiling through and through.